Hey, we got a huge problem. For losing the WBC final, Mike Trout got all of his attributes slashed to zero. My boy is going to be dead by the end of this year. So today, to help the Angels get their guy back, we're going to be going in and doing a couple challenges to get this dude back into MVP form. The only problem is if we aren't able to help him, one, the Angels are going to do absolutely terrible this year. And two, Mike Trout is going to end up retiring at the end of this year as a failure. And I cannot let that happen to one of the best players that's ever played the game. This is how Mike Trout's been able to get back up from a zero overall into that 99 that we're hoping for. Every hit that Mike Trout gets this year is going to equal 50 attribute points to help upgrade him. From there, one walk is going to be 25. One home run is going to be maxing out any single stat that I want to. One RBI is going to equal out to 75 attribute points. One double is going to be 60. And one triple is going to be 150. Because if this guy with zero contact, zero power, and zero speed is able to hit a triple, then he deserves basically all the attribute points in the world. Let's see what that we can do to get Mike Trout back on track and hopefully get World Series rings for both Trout and Otani at the end of this year. The first thing that we're doing is actually going into opening day against Oakland and hopefully we're able to get Mike Trout at least something decent. I'm at least hoping for a hit right now, Mike Trout, but again, zero overall, zero power. I don't know if he's gonna be able to get it past the pitcher's mound, let alone out of the infield. Out here in Oakland to a sold out crowd, which is crazy. Versus Paul Blackburn, he should. Wow. Okay, Mike. This is probably going to be a lot harder than I thought. That's terrible. Oh, no. What the heck did I get myself into? A K to start the game is not good. Here we go. Back up again. Top of the third. No outs. And we got two guys on. Oh, man. Look how small this PCI is. Oh, God. All right. The bat PCI should be good as that had literally zero pop. Honestly, I feel like a paper mache bat would have done better than that. It shouldn't be hard. I know Mike tried to say zero overall for this, but I mean, Never mind. Oh, no. One, two count. Two guys on. That's going to be decent. Get down, please. There we go. With that little crappy bloop single, we get 50 attribute points to add to Mike Trout at the end of this game. We got to try to tack on some more, though. Right now, Otani's giving up five runs to the Athletics, so I don't know what the heck is wrong with him. Maybe Otani's the one that needs the help. I have no idea. That is so bad, dude. I wish you guys could feel it. Like, typically, someone like Shohei Otani, whenever they hit, it feels powerful. I don't know how to explain it. With Mike, you might as well be swinging a transparent bat. There is nothing there. There. It's so bad as the bases are loaded. If we could somehow get a couple RBIs right here or a triple or a home run, this would change the entire year for Mike Trout. Come on. It's not going to have enough power to get anywhere. Oh my God. We have the A's beating us. That's how you know. At least Mike Trout got one hit to start the year. I don't know how the heck he did it, but he did. With those 50 attribute points, I'm doing something big. I'm going contact versus right 25. So now we got 25 left. And I'm going to go ahead and put that straight into the plate vision. We are five overall. Honestly, it could have been a lot worse, so I guess we'll take it. Let's go ahead and sim a couple weeks, come back here around the 21st, and see how the heck Mike Trout's doing. Here we are, April 21st. The Angels are 8 and 11. Not a great start. Mike, how we feeling, though? What are you doing? Again, he's very cold. That's not a good sign. Just show me at least an RBI. Come on, Mikey. That's two RBIs. That's actually not bad, but a 170. Oh, no. We do have some good news, though. My dude, Mike Trout, has got nine hits out of 13 games as a zero overall actually sorry five overall now that alone is going to get the dude 450 attribute points. Now with the RBIs, that's plus 75 each. And then with the walks, that's plus 25 each. Now after just a couple weeks, we have 650 attribute points we could use. So obviously, I think you guys know what I got to do. I'm going to use one of the RBIs that we got and absolutely max out the play vision. Next up, I got to max out the contact versus right, 100%. Now we're going to be up to a 99. Now we got 500 more. I really did not think the computer was going to let Mike Trout do this good when he is worse than every other minor leaguer in our entire team. How did this happen? Either way, contact versus left. Let's just go ahead and max that thing out. Even though it's only 99, I'm just going to count as 100 just because it's easier to do the math, honestly. I'm going to use one of the spots for the batting clutch. After that, with three more left, I'm going durability. I have to. I cannot have this dude getting injured throughout the year, especially if we're going to get Mike Trout good enough to make a run for the World Series. So we cannot be having that. Now we have about two more to go. Now with the last two, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going plus 50 to both of the powers. That right there takes up 100, and then I'm going to use the last 100 on the plate discipline. I have to. I did not think in about a month Mike Trout would fully turn this thing around, but now he is all the way back up to a 62 overall. The dude is so one-sided, it's disgusting. Now that we got a gigantic jump and 99s in a lot of different places, I'm gonna go ahead and make every single one of those upgrades plus one. So now instead of like plus 150 for a triple, it's now gonna be plus one. We are severely nerfing the upgrades. Let's see if we could still get Mike Trout to that 99 by the end of the year and help the Angels win this World Series. We're gonna go ahead and go to the All-Star break real quick, see how good Mike Trout and the Angels are gonna be doing 
from there, I'm gonna give the guy the upgrades that he needs and then go ahead and fix the angels completely. So if some of the bullpen pieces are doing completely trash, I'm gonna be getting rid of them. If any of the hitters are doing bad, of course, I gotta fix that as well. And to be honest, besides Mike, let's get Shohei the help that he deserves. Either way, right now, the angels are nine games back from the Astros. Not doing bad, I guess. God, the athletics though. I cannot believe we lost them opening day. They have so one T wins. And it's July 10th. Yo, athletics fans, I'm so sorry that this team exists. Either way, lineups, Mike Trout is on fire for a 62 overall. We got this dude looking like he's 45 out here. What the heck? If we check him though, the hitting stats should be insane. Let's take a look. Oh my God. I gotta know though, with no speed, no arm accuracy, no fielding, it really has gotta be like a disgusting amount and 10 errors in half a year. The dude's on pace for 20 errors in one season. That is almost half of what he's had in his entire career. So again, that's absolutely terrible. We gotta get him some help there. But only Mike Trout will be able to pull off a 2.3 war with nothing in speed or fielding. The dude is fully carrying himself with that bat. I love it. And after calculating every single hit, every single double, every single home run, RBI, and walk, Mike Trout now has 203 attribute points that we could use anywhere. And I think we gotta help the speed in the fielding to be 100% real. I'm probably gonna end up maxing out that power too, but again, the fielding and the speed needs severe help. So for power versus left, I'm using 47 right here. Getting him back up to a 99, technically 46, but it is what it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use 49 in the power. So now he is fully upgraded on the hitting. Back to where the guy belongs, to be honest. Now we got 107 points to play with. And honestly, since we can, I'm just gonna go ahead and split him between all the fielding upgrades and then speed. So 107 divided by five rounded is just gonna end up being 21 each. Again, not great, but at least it's a start somewhere. And I promise you guys, you'll be amazed at how much his overall just shoots up. And there he is, 86 overall now. Just off a little bit of fielding and speed, the guy absolutely explodes overall wise. Now officially at the treaded line, it is time to make this Angels team an absolute powerhouse. As of right now, we're 11 games back from the Houston Astros. We have to change that completely. And as I'm looking at it right now, David Fletcher is barely giving me anything. Even though a lot of the Angels fans love this dude, he is literally not giving me a single thing. I know it's a little controversial to go off a war, but the guy is giving me a point one. Also has a 3.6 walk percentage under a 10K percentage. That's actually pretty good. But that war is not going to be getting me anywhere, and it's definitely not going to win us a World Series. I do hate to do it, but it's got to be done. David Fletcher on the trade block. We got to go out and get somebody else. Right now, I'm targeting Bo Bichette. My dude is doing amazing for the Blue Jays right now. And to be honest, I want him in LA. I swear if we can get him with Brett Phillips. Oh my God, coach. What are you doing, bro? What the heck are you doing, dude? David Fletcher, Jeremiah Jackson, and Brett Phillips. I love Brett, but dude, he is not doing good enough to justify not getting Bo Bichette. This package makes zero sense, but Bo Bichette, welcome to LA, dude. Now we got shortstop absolutely locked down. After that, we got a couple more options that we can go through. We got third base. Jill really isn't doing all that bad, so I'll keep him off the bench or maybe just somebody for the depth. Besides that, Hunter Renfro, not doing good. My boy, come on. I get that he's Trout's twin, but this is a make or break here. I gotta get the dude out of here. I gotta get great value Mike Trout to a different team. I need somebody that's gonna come in and just make this team so much better immediately. Please, Rays, do it. Do it. Yes! Getting Randy Rosarena, baby. I love that. He's gonna fit in this team beautifully. I know he doesn't really play right field, but it's Randy. He'll be able to adjust. So, Rays, give me that. Thank you. I have no idea why the heck you took it, but I'm glad you did. Now, Randy slotting over the right field. Beautiful. I was thinking second base, but Anthony Rendon's doing very, very good, which I'm happy to see, just because we're paying the guy a hundred million dollars over the next four years. So frankly, this is not great compared to what his money's worth, but still, I'm glad the guy's back a little bit, even though he's a 77 overall. Either way, Max Stassi's probably going to be the guy that's going to be getting upgraded. Honestly, the guy is a great catcher, but there are better catchers out there. And honestly, I think there's a better catcher on the block as we speak. Freaking Danny Jansen is getting traded from the Blue Jays. Do we go back to the Jays and steal their guy? Oh my gosh, Max. Max Stassi, you have so much value too. Guys, I'm sorry, but it's gotta be done, right? Come on. Who's gonna be the guy that actually gets this trade done though? I'm probably gonna have to get rid of one of our top pitching prospects. Someone like Sam, someone like Chase, someone like Kai. And yeah, that's exactly what they want. All three, wow. Will you take Chris, please? Okay, or not. What about Jose? Definitely no. They're laughing in our face for that. Just take Chase. I don't like doing it, but the guy to seven ERA last year. So you know what? Enjoy. Sending that guy to can is like our little mini version and send him to space. Get that man out of my team immediately. Now we gotta fix the bullpen and Jose Suarez. I already know that Jose's doing terrible. I can just feel it. Yeah, a seven ERA. Come on, bro. Carlos probably not doing good either. Oh my God. I could just feel it. At least some of the closers doing good. And of course not. Why would he be? Three bullpen pieces because we're ranking 23rd. That's not going to win us World Series titles. I'm sorry. That just won't. Right, let's go ahead and try to package both of these trash cans together and get somebody else. I mean, I wouldn't mind Felix Bautista. This dude with the Orioles is absolutely disgusting. But again, I'm going to have to get rid of one of these pitching prospects. Oh my gosh, Sam. Jesus, thank you. I actually thought for a quick second it wasn't going to work. Now we got an actual closer in there. Thank goodness. After that, we need
need two more guys out of the bullpen, and I think I got an idea where I'm going to go with this. Again, I'm biased, but one of the best bullpens year over year is always the Rays. They got some sort of special sauce out there. I mean, look at Pete. Fairbanks is a 0.5 ERA. Come on. He's got to join the squad. Pete Fairbanks, Jalen Beeks, and Andrew Kittredge. If we could do this, oh my gosh. I will honestly give up close to anybody for this. Rays, who's the one bum on this team that you want that you'll turn into an MVP? Is it Zach? Even though he's not a bum, he's actually our best prospect besides freaking Joe Adele. Come on. Is there anybody else? Just give me somebody or not. Okay. What about Jose? My boy's posting up a 4.6. He's not very good and they will take him for a lot. All right. Never mind. You're not getting him. Thank you for telling me his value. Holy crap. Guys, I'm sorry, but I think it's got to be Zach. I don't want to do it, but it's got to be Zach. There we go. Now we're just going to go ahead and flip Jose Suarez for somebody else. After that, we are good to go. I feel like we need a flamethrowing righty. So who the heck is going to be our guy? Who fits in the team the best? Hey, Michael Kopik might be the guy. My dude can throw some absolute heat. I just don't know if I want to pull the trigger on him. I mean, he's doing decent, but dog, I'm nervous. To be honest, the only other guy that I'm really looking for is going to be Aaron Noah just because he's at the end of that contract. And I just really hope that the Phillies want to get rid of him. Let's see. Come on, Aaron, please. No, it's not going to work. If I just throw one more dude and they take him, I will do this a thousand percent. I just got a feeling no, it's not going to work. There's no freaking shot. Yeah, no, it's not going to work. All right. Well, you know what? We'll do it. Michael Kopik. Oh, man. I don't know why I'm doing it, but there we go. Kopik, please, God, prove me wrong. Now, I will say we're looking 10,000 times better, and we're ready to actually compete this year. Let's go ahead and get to the end of the year and see how the heck we finish off. Oh, my gosh. Right now, up to the last series of the year versus Oakland, ironically, we are 102 in 57. Somehow, three games back from the Astros, but still, if we could sweep Oakland, we will have this thing in the bag if the Astros just lose one game. Real quick, if I check it, Mike Trout, there we go, baby. Let me go ahead and get the attribute points together and let's go ahead and try to max this dude out. 231 attribute points to use by the end of this year. Again, we really don't need anything for the batting. That's gigantic. Honestly, I might just use just a couple, like five or six, just to get them back. It actually turned out to be 10 with the contact and the power, but either way, it's not a big deal because now we have 221 to use. And again, I'm really just gonna go ahead and split all those through these five right here. There's nothing else that we really need besides maybe a little bit of stealing and a little bit of base running aggressiveness. So if I could just divide 221 by seven, I'm just going to go ahead and add all of these together. And there we go. It came out to be about 32 apiece. And now Mike Trout is a 99 overall. Looking so, so good. Besides that, we looking good? Everybody looking all right? I think so. I think we're feeling good. Let's see how the heck we do in this three game series versus the A's. Again, we have to sweep them. Let's see if we could do it here. Come on. Game one, please. 5 0. That is a beautiful start. Otani versus Paul Blackburn, who's doing amazing this year. Wow. Otani. Come on. No way. We lost that again. Why can't Otani pitch the stupid A's? All right, Detmers, come on, baby. I need you more than ever. And we lost the series. How are we a real team? We lost to a team that has 46 wins. We finished off 103, but it should have been 105. Awards, it looks like we didn't get anything, and Shohei Otani came in second. Mike Trout, really, for coming back all the way from zero overall, did not get the MVP. Well, I mean, 27 home runs and 100 RBIs. He still had a great year, but yeah, not MVP worthy. Still a great comeback, but there is more that we got to do. We got to beat the crap out of the Rangers, and that's just to get out of the wild card. After that, we're probably going to be facing Houston. After we face Houston, probably going to be facing the Yankees. And then from there, World Series. Series. Who knows who the heck we're facing there? All right, one step at a time. Let's go. Shohei Otani versus Jacob deGrom. Come on, baby. Won that by one. Thank goodness, Matt Moore. Next up, Reed Detmers versus Nathan Ovaldi. Wow, they're so stacked. Won that. And now we're on to the Astros. How's Mike doing so far? Eight at bats, and he's 0 for 8. For being one of the greatest players of all time, he always just seems to not do great in those big light moments. Which, first off, so dumb. He's only had a couple in his career just because he's on the Angels. But, dog, this ain't helping. Come on. Shohei Otani, Christian Javier. Won that 14 to 4. There we go. Patrick Sandoval versus Fromber. Won that as well. That is what I like to see. 2-0. Reed Detmers versus Lance McCullers. There we are. Haven't dropped the game yet. Knock on wood. Who we facing next? Cleveland. Beat the Yankees. Oh my God. All right, Cleveland. Let's get this thing going. Shohei Otani versus Tristan McKenzie for game one. Otani, I need you again. Come on. 10-2. There we are. Michael Kopik getting his first playoff appearance. Kopik, show me why the heck I got you, baby. And it's a 3-0. Oh my. He went eight innings. You God. Okay. Well, that is well, Shohei. Otani, finish them right here. There we are. Now we're going to the World Series. LA versus LA, of course. First up, before we get into the World Series, I gotta check it. Mike Trout, how you doing? The average is still kind of low. Same with Shohei Otani. These guys are getting garbage pitches then. Everybody else should be eating though, and they are. All right, good. Let's get it going. Shohei versus Julio Arias. Lost that. Oh, God. Reed Detmers versus Tony. One of that. Beautiful. 1-1. One, one. Patrick Sandoval versus Walker. That's not good. Michael Kopik, I need you more than ever versus Playoff Kershaw. And we won. 2-2. Shohei Otani, come on. Lost that. We got 
gotta go in for both of these. We have to. Player locking as the man himself, Mike Trout. We gotta go in. Oh, God. What the heck are you doing? I don't know if you guys saw it in time. We have Reed Detmers hitting DH. Guys, how did that make it past the dev stage? Reed Detmers is hitting behind Mike Trout as he smacks the ball at the left. There we go. Giving our team the lead when we need it the most. Again, though, Reed Detmers, DH. He's gonna hit now. Did he at least get a good hit? I gotta know. Oh, my God, he did. I'm not even gonna try to make it make sense as Dave intentionally walks us. Okay. Well, now they have to face Reed Detmers. Coach, seriously, what's wrong with you? Oh my God, he got on the ground. No shot. Still out though, but still. He got that thing on the ground. Oh my God. Okay, this is the time. Base is juiced. One out. I'm power swinging. I don't care. Give me some high heat and I will turn and burn that thing. We almost did it. Almost. All right, with O2, I got it cover. Going back to normal swing with O2. I can't be doing something stupid. What do we got, Caleb? That was... Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. We won the game. We won the game. All right, we're good. Please get the game seven. Holy crap. All right, lineups. I'm fixing it. What the heck? Brennan Jury going to DH. I am not letting the pitcher hit behind me. No shot that's happening again. Wait a second. I'm freaking stupid. Shohei Otani. There we go. That's 10,000 times better. I'm sure there had to be at least some of you guys screaming at me to put Shohei in there. Let's get game seven going right now and let's beat the crap out of these Dodgers. Come on. Let's get this ring for the boys right here. Versus Walker Buehler. I'm going to need all the help I can get. Let's see what that can give me. That's two straight balls okay got the two one still in a good count there we go please just soar i don't think it will but just soar no that's so sad either way two guys on no outs all right hello walker bueller let's go again just get this thing in the gap or something mike please if it's not gonna end up going out of here just at least get it on the ground that's good enough you know what that's fine got the bases now juice for shohei otani let's go shohei down o2 is not something i like to see though otani please and he struck out all right it's fine though we still got some beasts danny jansen come on up baby all right, two up, two down. And it's already 0-2 for Taylor Ward. Don't, no, walk here. You disgusting buffoon. Don't you dare. Don't you? Okay, Taylor, that's not going anywhere. All right, well, he worked out of it somehow. And now we're losing. All right, Trout, you got one guy on a first base. I need a home run here, all right? Or at least get on base for Shohei Otani. And there we go. Come on, that's gonna at least be a double. Oh my God, that's gonna score him. There we go. Now we're gonna be off for Otani and he's got the 2-2. Two -two. Come on, Shohei, do what you do best. Get the WBC title and a ring in the same year. Oh my God, that's slapped. We're going. I don't care if we got 54 speed. Speed. We're testing that arm and we're in there. Taking the lead in game seven of the World Series. Now up to the top of the seventh. Noah Syndergaard in there now. Technically, we should know what the heck he's going to throw pretty good. And we do. Oh my gosh. That is slapped again. That should be a double, if not a triple. Let's go. That's going to be a stand up double. That's fine. Hey, this is looking good, guys. This is looking good. Please just let that 54 fielding hold up. That's all I care about. Please. That should be routine. There we are. Now just get out the inning, please or not. It's fine though. One, two. Keep the ball in the air. Keep the ball in the air. There we go. There we go. Routine, right? Routine. Routine, Mike. Routine. All right, we're good. We live another day. Let's see if we can finally cement this thing. So I think it's time I break out the power swing. Come on, Mike. That's looking... No! No! That was a meatball, bro. Oh my God, please. Miguel Rojas is up. We got one out already. Just get two more. Pete Fairbank. This is the reason why I got you right here. Oh my God, it's going in the corner. Mike, your reaction time's so bad. Randy, throw him out or something. Never mind, he's stopping. We're good. And of course, they tied it up. I swear to God. We have to get this hit. I gotta lock it in. Come on. That's not good enough. Oh my God, that's so too. That stuff's not good enough, though. That's definitely not good. One, two. Come on, Mikey. This is why we get paid. Don't win. Don't win. Oh, my God. Matt Moore's in there now to face the top of the order. This is a bold move. I don't know why the heck that's happening. Boba Shek, you better get there. Literally one minute later. No! And of course, dude. Of course. That home field advantage is so nice. Bro, we lose in game seven by one. We did everything we honestly could. Three for six with two doubles in RBI. That's pretty solid. Everybody else behind me, though did not do well. Jared Walsh one for three. Shohei Otani one for five. Oh man. Not even a boosted up Mike Trout with me helping the Angels could have them win the World Series. We got so close.